As for New South Wales, 10 days away from that state election and the leaders had another one of their debates. They've had three, or they will have three. They've done one on Channel 7 in the middle of the day, one on Channel 9 in the middle of the day, prime time next week here on Sky News. Um, how do you feel about these questions? A little bit of pub trivia. I'll <laughs> yeah. start with the Premier. Name Sydney's two AFL teams. Greater Western Sydney and the Sydney Swans. Mr Minns, who is captain of the New South Wales Blues? Uh, is it um, Tedesco? Yes, well done. Oh, Where do you get the best pie in Sydney, Premier? Uh, down at Beecroft. <laughs> Oatly pies. Of course, both <laughs> in your electorates. Who's going to win the NRL Premiership? Well, I hope the Tigers, but that's not looking, <laughs> that's not looking very good. <laughs> that's desperate. <laughs> He's going to say the, the Bulldogs are going to win. The Bulldogs? Absolutely. You like our school, do you? Well, I love the Bulldogs. How many hours of sleep do you get a night? About five, five and a half. Yeah, about the same. <laughs> Mr Perrottet, name all seven of your kids in age order. <laughs> Just not the ages. Uh, Charlotte, Amelia, Annabelle, William, Harriet, Beatrice, Celeste. <laughs> Mr Minns, your three boys. Joseph, Nicholas and George. I don't know if it's an achievement if you can name your kids. But anyway, I love Pete Overton, so I'll give him a pass. But still, wow. All right, uh, yes, the People's Forum here next Wednesday night on Sky News. All right, let's get into all of this now with Erin Molan, who can name all of her children in age order. Go, no. Uh, from uh, <laughs> Sky News, Joe Hildebrand, uh, Sky News contributor and Liberal Senator, Holly Hughes, one and all. Hello. All right, time to talk about... Can I about... just say, if you've got seven kids, yes, that is an accomplishment. Oh, I, I think that's a click moment. I think that's a click. I think, Lindsay, you love you. You've got off easy. But... Once you know, once you're counting them on your fingers. Yeah. Look, if you once really want to. Once you've hit over one hand, yeah. Yeah. I think maybe the clicks Look, in. I think if you really want to stump it, you do throw in the ages <laughs> or yeah. tell me the birth dates of your kids and see what happens. No one can no, do that. Birth date yeah. of your wife. And yes. Let's see how we go. Excellent. Goes. Excellent. Uh, look, I must say, Erin, even though that I'm sort of, you know, the in and out uh, rugby league fan, if you turned around and said, who's the captain of this, who's the captain of that, I might have been slightly stumped. But, you know, it's this wonderful search in politics for the moment where they don't know the thing that every normal person knows. Yeah. But would you have been that happy to get all the kids' <laughs> names right? Oh, look, my dad, after 73 years, still had to look up our names on his laptop sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> our birthdays, that's for sure. And, and I, think, <laughs> I think his address at times as well, given the military lifestyle. Yeah. So I've got zero uh, ability to judge anyone else in that realm. Yeah. I've, got, I, I've got to say, I'm a massive fan of the great man as a way of just until the name yeah. eventually yeah. falls mm. into the head. But other than that, that's right. why God invented the word mate. <laughs> now, no, um, dull, the, dull. The, the true Australian <laughs> pronoun is mate. All right. I identify. Fight his mate in every way, shape or form.